So what's that thing called? This thing? Yeah. This is a chicken finger holder. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. And I'm Trent. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. Today I'm going to be showing you how my husband Trent built this whiz bang chicken plucker using a PDF that he bought the plans for. And over the last couple of months, we've been piecing it together as we've had the time and the parts. And then at the very end, I will show you how this bad boy works. And in an upcoming video, I'll be showing you guys butchering our first batch of meat chickens for the year. And then, of course, I will link all of the information down below where you can purchase the plans. There's a great article with step-by-step -step instructions and photographs and all that. So this video is more so showing you guys the process and it's not a step-by-step how-to. So stick around and enjoy. working on the chicken plucker project. So you can see it's been drilling some holes in this piece of metal. I can't remember if it's steel or aluminum. I think it's steel. My father-in-law picked this up, I believe. We had it cut to a certain size and now Trent is putting some holes in it. He's got lumber that he needs. Got all kinds of projects going. So you drilled holes in that. You drilled holes in the barrel, cut the barrel, ordered the pulleys and bolts and things you needed. So is that as far as we got so far? We got the motor. We got everything we need, except for the belt. We don't have the belt, because we don't know how long it's supposed to be yet until we put it together. Gotcha. But besides that, we've had everything. Cool beans.
how much we got into this project, honey. cost the, the piece of metal was what 70 bucks he said 70. the book was how much 15. 15 for the book with the plans how much in lumber you just got four, it four two by fours and two two by sixes so it's 20 probably 40 bucks And you had to get a couple doodrabbies over here. Had to get this thingamajig and these thingamajigs. Yeah, folios, 30 or so. The bearings were 10 apiece. Right. The folios, 10 or so. Not too much. One thing to keep in mind as you look at the plans and the resources that I've listed down below, just make sure that you remember that that may not necessarily be reflective of current lumber costs, which of course have skyrocketed and that's a big issue right now as far as building is concerned. So just bearing that in mind. Uh, another thing I'll note is that we did not purchase this motor down here. So we were lucky enough to get this motor actually free from a, a good friend of ours who is a commercial farmer and he had a lot of motors lying around and this one is a bit more high powered than what would typically be used and I just wanted to make note of that. So our costs were less than what your costs would be. Um, also you don't have to paint it but Trent wanted it to look nice so of course there was that additional cost as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that some of you found it educational, especially if you're interested in butchering at home or if you're looking to step up your plucking game. As always, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, of course, do my best to answer them. Again, all the resources to build the plucker are listed down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.